Hi, this is Kenny Lee, and let's talk about the merry-go-round problem. That's one where we got a merry-go-round spinning around, and we have somebody either walking in towards the center or out towards the edge. And see what happens to the angular momentum and the angular velocity of the merry-go-round system. So, let's start with this. We got a 200 kilogram merry-go-round with a radius of 2.5 meters spinning around. A 50 kilogram student is standing at the edge, so 2.5 meters from the center. And we want to first figure out if this system is rotating at 5 ratings a second, what's the initial angular momentum of the system? The first thing we need to do is figure out the moment of inertia of our system. We actually have two moments of inertia, one from the merry-go-round itself and one from the student. So the merry-go-round, we can model it as a disk, which the moment of inertia is 1 half mr squared where m is the mass and r is the radius of the merry-go-round. Now for the student, we're going to have to model that person as just a point mass. So the moment of inertia is just mr squared, the mass of the student, and where that student is in relation to the center of rotation. So let's go ahead and figure that out for this. So the total moment of inertia is the moment of inertia of the merry-go-round plus the moment of inertia of the student. So that's going to be one half. The mass of the merry-go-round is 200. Its radius is 2.5, that's squared, plus the moment of inertia of the student, which the person's mass is 50. And they're going to start off at 2.5 meters from the center of the circle. So let's go ahead and calculate that. I want to do them individually. So 2.5 squared times 100 gives us the merry-go-round has a moment of inertia of 625 plus for the student 2.5 squared times 50 they have a moment of inertia of 312.5 we're going to add those together 625 gives me a total initial moment of inertia of our system to be 937.5 kilograms meters squared. I know that's a weird unit, but that is the unit for moment of inertia. Now we need to figure out, that's the initial, now we need to figure out the angular momentum of our system. Angular momentum, L, is equal to moment of inertia of our system times its angular speed. So for this one, it's just the 937.5 times the speed of our system, which is 5 radians per second. So if we take 937.5 times 5, we get a moment, uh, angular momentum of 4,687.5 kilograms meters squared over seconds. We kind of drop off the radians. Since it's five radians per second, we kind of it kind of disappears. That's okay. It'll come back later. Now, let's say that student decides to start walking in towards the center. And they go from two and a half meters out to about one meter out. And we want to figure out what happens to the angular speed of our system. Now just thinking about it, we're moving mass in towards the rotation. We just think about it, we're moving mass from the outer edge in towards the center near where the point of rotation is. So we're bringing mass towards the center of our system. So that should mean that our moment of inertia decreases and that means our speed should increase if we keep angular momentum constant, which it should be conserved. Let's see if that works. We first need to figure out our new moment of inertia because since the student moves in, they've changed their location. So the moment of inertia of our merry-go-round, that's going to stay the same. That's fixed. But our moment of inertia for our student, that's going to change. So this is still going to be 625. But our student is still 50 kilograms, but now they're one meter from the center. So now, 
our moment of inertia at the end is going to be 675 kilograms meters squared. Angular momentum is conserved, so L at the beginning equals mo uh, angular momentum at the end. And so at the beginning we had 4,687.5. And at the end, well, that's still I omega. Now our I is 625. So 4687.5 equals 675 omega, which is our angular speed. So we're just going to divide that by the 675. And we get our new angular speed to be 6.94 radians, see I told you it'll come back, per second. So it almost speeds up two radians per second for that student moving in towards the center. Thank you, and tune in for some more angular momentum problems. Bye.